we need to have a talk, a discussion, because I'm not letting y'all niggas get away with this shit. And here I am to talk about it. So let's go. You read the title, so let's get into it. Stop fucking believing FBI propaganda about black revolutionary leaders. Like, the way that y'all believe anything that you see on the internet is literally so insane. Oh, you don't don't know what I'm talking about. Obviously, you wouldn't know what I'm talking about. So, um, let me, let me show y'all something. Yeah, I I think you see where the problem lies because you have young black content creators pushing out blatant misinformation about MLK, Malcolm X, and the Black Panthers, and I am so sick of it, I swear. Cause like, where did you get this information from? J. Edgar Hoover? Richard Nixon? Y'all be putting out shit like this and then the source be coming from like the most racist dude imaginable. I just don't get it. I don't understand because, okay, okay. Can you really look into my face, my face right here and tell me that you trust what J. Edgar Hoover, J. Edgar Hoover has to say about black revolutionary leaders Like, my nigga, the FBI and the CIA got a chokehold over y'all, and you're playing right into their game. The FBI and the CIA have been known to put out rumors and false info on black revolutionary leaders to tarnish their names and downplay their movements and what they were striving for. And niggas like them, they look at that false info and believe it. And, oh my gosh, guess what? It's working. Because before those videos were deleted, they had 1.7 million likes, 72.7k shares, and 7.7 million views, and 15.4k likes, dog. Just think about how many people looked at that and truly believe it now. Think about how many people shared it to their family and their friends. And then the videos that try to explain how these videos are misinformed and straight up ignorant get minimal views, shares, and likes compared to the original videos. And that shit kills me every time. I mean every time. And sure, you might have deleted the videos, but the damage has already been done. You have brainwashed so many people into believing this false information about our own leaders like what in the actual fuck you might as well be on the fbi's payroll at this point you did exactly what they wanted you to do and it's so fucking disrespectful as well because as a black creator you need to understand that malcolm x and mlk fought for us and did everything that they could for us but instead of learning what they had to go through and what they had to deal with and using your platform to emphasize that, you make shit like this, and then got people under the comment section talking about some damn, this is why Malcolm X better. This is why I've never liked MLK. (laughs) No more school projects about MLK now. And it's so embarrassing. Like y'all make these videos every two months. I swear y'all do. And, and this shit right here is why we'll never be free, dog. I, I, I can't believe it. And yeah, I know that Malcolm X and MLK and the Black Panthers weren't perfect people, but... Hmm. Okay, here's another excellent Black creator that can explain it way better than I ever could. He didn't want to leave his wife for a white woman and that was not his motivation for ending segregation this seems really fucked up when you like when you really think about it um the motivation for ending segregation was equality and 
no longer being fucking oppressed. Yeah, he had a white girlfriend when he was a teenager in the 40s, which is like 20 years before his civil rights activist work, or 10, 15, whatever. He got married and had a family. He cheated, but like the evidence of him cheating came from the FBI, which was extremely racist. Also, interracial marriage and integration came from two separate Supreme Court decisions, so they're different causes, I feel like. Yeah, but this isn't true. This isn't true. Let me begin by saying there was no justification for SA and it's wrong 100% and it's not excusable. However, I think this video attempts to use the SA committed by a few members in the Black Panther Party as a way to discredit all of their hard work and make everyone responsible for that, which is untrue and should not be happening. It was not the majority of Black Panthers committing heinous fucking acts like these. And when it comes to Malcolm X, he himself fucking admitted that he used to fetishize white women and date white women and view them superior to black women and he discussed his own autobiography how that was wrong so i don't know this damn surprise about this did we not all watch the fucking spike lee movie none of that discredits the work he did at all on his anti-semitism which is inexcusable and it's not my place to ever forgive him because i'm not jewish there is evidence of him changing and defending someone from anti-semitism like i don't know why y'all are so fucking surprised and it's just crazy how y'all do your own research and it's just fucking fbi propaganda from the j edgar hoover files from the j edgar hoover tapes like stop spreading misinformation to appear woke and also stop comparing our black revolutionary leaders i have seen so many malcolm x was way better than mlk or like just comparing arguments and that is so counterproductive like can we mm, maybe not do that but no i'm the biased tiktoker video essay complain 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 youtuber so let's get a normal person and see what they have to say on this matter Overall, I think it's just stupid because TikTok is a widespread app of all ethnicities and races and backgrounds. And spreading that information really just brought us back like years, like set us back. Like that did not need to happen. So now you have miseducated non-black people spreading these lies around about the most famous black history leaders and now like that's just another problem we have to deal with and i can think it's just stupid overall so yeah stop believing everything that you see on the internet and stop believing fbi propaganda about black revolutionary leaders oh and before i go um i just wanted to say thank you guys for over 10k plus followers on tiktok over 100 subscribers on youtube and over 100k video views on my first ever youtube video that i put out words cannot describe how thankful that i am and i'm just so appreciative of all the support i've gotten on my content creation journey so far we're gonna keep growing we're gonna keep striving for better y'all are gonna enjoy the content that i put out i'm gonna enjoy making the content and yeah i'm just really appreciative of all the support thank you guys so much for real but um yeah that's all i gotta say okay bye